All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk about, and we're going to perform as well, uh, one of the most feared things in owning a diesel truck, especially when you're adding horsepower to it, because let's face it, the majority of us out there are, you know, we're balling on a budget. Uh, and that's going to be your transmission. Um, when you get your diesel, you should always, always, always service your truck when you get it, okay? Like I said in the last video that I did on a similar subject, just because they say it don't mean shit. Unless they got documentation that proves, and they can prove exactly what fluid was in it, still do it. Seriously, save yourself the money and just go ahead and do it. You know, a lot of people will tell, oh, I've never changed my fluid. Da, 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 da. Cool, that may have worked for you, but if I do that and it breaks, you're not paying for it. I don't expect you to pay for it, but you get where I'm coming from. It's not your pocketbook. So... Today we're going to go into transmissions. One of the biggest things that uh, I see people do is they'll flush a transmission, um, but the fluid that they put back in it is less than subpar. So what do I mean by that? I mean they go to their auto parts store and they get their house brand stuff. And let's face it, I mean in a pinch, topping something off, that, it'll work for a minute. It'll get you by. But when you start talking about these diesel trucks and you know these these transmissions. You know, viscosity is huge, uh, especially with these Allisons. A lot of people don't know, but unless it's TE25 certified, trans ain't gonna like it. And again, there's gonna be that guy out there, I've got, bah, 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 bah. I don't give a shit, okay? That's cool, good for you, works on your truck. We're not talking about your truck. We're talking about mine. We're talking about somebody else's, okay? So again, owning one of these trucks is an investment. If you don't think it's such, go ahead, go beat the shit out of that thing and watch it break. You'll learn real fast. So let's get into our uh, patient of the day. And I figured it'd be only appropriate to go ahead and use the LBZ to make my point here. Which, on that note, there was a lot of you in the last video on this truck. When I was having some problems with this one, y'all were like, oh, you need to just, you know, get rid of that one, keep the LBZ, and put the plow on that one. Y'all are retarded. That ain't happening. <laughs> I get where you're coming from, but that ain't happening. Leah got fixed up just fine, which, that brace there, um, we are tossing that on the LBZ as well today. We do actually, we have a bunch of parts that came in for this thing that we're gonna go ahead and and get put on this thing. You know, first box being obviously, you can see it coming from Merchant Automotive there. Their link will be down in this, the description below. Again, I don't get paid to use your stuff, they're local to me, and I've had nothing but great things to say about it. On top of not getting paid for something and using a great product, never having any issues. Got that air dog right there. So today, at least this part of the video, we're going to go ahead and just get started by servicing the transmission. Uh, this truck does have a built trans in it. The only reason that we are servicing the trans is because the pan is leaking. This truck had a lot of good money tossed into it. However, the previous owner... They didn't really stay on top of things the greatest, so we're just ripping off a few band-aids and we're healing the wound like it should. Oh, that's dangerously loose. All right, so one of the first things obviously you guys wanna do is uh, pull your drain plug and let this thing drain. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, this is fun already. <laughs> already. Should have just went with the uh, with the open catch can or the open pan. So we're gonna be here. <laughs> so much for eating lunch, okay? <laughs> And having a clean driveway. Oh, damn it all to hell. I had all this shit clean. Mm. 
now that we've got it drained and this uh, transmission fluid done disrespected the shit out of my clean driveway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop the spin-off filter here for the Allison. And what we're going to do is when we drop that filter, we're going to make sure that there's, there's a magnet that's supposed to be inside of here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull that down. Clean it off. Really though, make sure that there's a magnet on this. I can't tell you how many trucks that I've come across that people have thrown away the magnet uh, on the old filter because they didn't know it was there. So, you know, be cognizant. That is all metal. This thing was disgusting. Let's see if we can get her to focus. Come on, Nerla. That is all metal this thing was caked completely caked this right here is exactly why the whole just eh, forget about it if i don't know about it it'll be fine method doesn't work this is why you want to flush things Th that's just the magnet from the spin-on filter there's one in the bottom of the pan too so when we go to clean out and remember this truck has a built trans so really guys if, if the proof's in the puffin it trust me it did Doing a fluid change and all that and a service on the transmission is going to save you so much rather than just taking somebody's word for it and going, nah, it'll be fine. So next up, obviously, this is why you want that magnet on the filter. The whole point of it, the magnet did its job. So that's good. So we are going to get the, uh, the magnet cleaned up the rest of the way. We're going to get it onto the filter here, uh, throw just a little bit of fluid in it. And put that back on and then we are going to drop the pan. I'll show you guys the inside of the pan once uh, once that comes down. Alright guys, now I remember a while back when I did the initial flush on Leah here. Everybody gave me shit. They're like, you don't ever have to do the internal filter, man. Like, that's why you only do the spin-on filter. Bruh. But again, the whole reason why I'm making this video is because there's a lot of idiots out there that don't do any of them. And then we get left with messes like that. See how disgusting that is? Look at. Let's see. See all the shit within the pan there? Look at that. Look at that. Seriously, guys, don't let anybody ever make you feel goofy or silly or retarded because you want to take the time to flush shit in your vehicle. It's not the end of the world, but that could have been bad had it not been caught. Something to keep in mind. Look at that. That's the magnetic plug on the drain plug for the trans. Look how thick that is. Look at how thick that is. It's case number two. So, now I'm not, the, the, this trans isn't toast, and I'm not coming down on the people that built the trans or anything like that, because the trans was solid. This is, this right here is neglect. Don't do that. This is what happens when you neglect shit. I'm telling you. But yeah, oh, the magnet's picking it up. Mm-hmm. You see how thick that is on the magnet? At some point, it's not going to be able to catch it as effectively as it should be. That magnet's not as strong as it should be because it's covered in shit so guys don't don't neglect the service we service things for a reason texture you're seeing there that's that's just the pan itself that's not uh that's not material or anything that's just the that's the pan itself but it looks good on the inside for the most part we're going to clean it up the uh actual inside of the, the transmission looks good too focus we're going to drop the interior 
interior filter there and go ahead and uh, toss another one in there and then button everything back up put fresh fluid in it and call it a wrap on this one we are however going to also be installing the uh, transfer case brace uh, as you can see this thing already has merchant uh, motor mounts on it so we let's see we serviced that the last time we were underneath this truck so like I said, we're going to button all this up in here, and then we are going to go ahead and uh, throw that brace on there, and then pretty much pretty much call it a day on the, uh, the six-speed transmission service. Well, this LBZ is just... The truck loves to give. So we're going to pause and take a little break here. The... Uh, on the LBZ right here where this the little tab here for the dipstick is mounted uh, somebody got a little aggressive with it and tore it so it's actually leaking fluid out as we're trying to fill it so I'm just gonna cram some uh, RTV in there real quick just so that way we can get this damn thing filled up um, I have the well it's actually it's Permatex it's right stuff the stuff sets pretty quickly so we're gonna go ahead and toss that on because I don't have another dipstick tube right now that I can use. I don't frankly have the patience. I'm fighting weather, but we're going to go ahead and toss this. I'm not going to be airline. doing any type of how-to on this. I'm just throwing it on the truck. These things are pretty self-explanatory. They're straightforward. The instructions that come with them, they're, they're really hard to screw up. So I will catch up with you guys when that's done. Thing of freaking beauty, ain't it, folks? Yeah. All right, so we are, like I said, I'm not going to go too crazy into action. I'm probably not going to say much about it. The uh, the instructions that these guys give are, there. You, you really can't screw it up. But we're going to go ahead and toss this on the truck now. Sounds a little bit like Lana. I think so too. She got a little bit gnarly going through a couple of those shifts. And then she started biting really hard. I'm making this guy on the mower nervous. Um, but I think she's just a hair low on the fluid. It's, I mean, it's biting hard. That This right here is exactly why we use transcend fluid. Shift points are just minty. Yep, that little bit of slip there and forth. We're just a hair low on fluid. Bam! God, that's a spicy gear change. And lock up. Beautiful. Yeah, we need a vane position sensor bad. And that right there is going to put a wrap on the LBZ. Uh, look at that. Got a little bit of fuel dripping. So I guess we're going to have to put a clamp on the old push lock. Actually, 
we got our air dog installed we went ahead and we flushed the transmission got that all good there is a bit of a puddle underneath it right there because the uh, dipstick tube leaks that's where i backed it in a couple times and kept filling it up so that's that's nothing to shake a stick at that ain't nothing that i'm worried about this thing needs a serious a serious day at the spa where we can get all the paint correction and all that done to it. it needs headlights needs an exhaust and i really want to pull the trigger on some gauges uh usually we run auto meter in everything that we have here um because that's all i've ever run i mean they they work amazing never had any issues with them but i think this go around i might want to try some uh some ispro gauges in it just because they work I, i've wired them before and i like them and also auto meter doesn't exactly offer fuel rail pressure and all that camera died but anyway like i was saying I, i'd like i think i want to try this pro gauges out on this and uh, i think it'll work pretty good for it but like i said this thing needs a serious detail needs to be cleaned up needs gauges an exhaust uh there is an s and b intake on the way for it we're going to be taking off the hsp one if you guys remember that thing was pretty chewed up on the inside so there's there's that but i mean this truck's got a lot of potential you know it's uh it is studded it's got the fluid amper on the front it's got the merchant uh motor mounts on it it's now got the transfer case brace on it uh, this engine was rebuilt. The, this truck was completely gone through. Um, it does need a vane position sensor, as you guys heard, but this is all little stuff. And, you know, sometimes the best way to fix a vane position sensor is to just put a 68 millimeter charger on it. So, options are endless. But anyway, that's what I got for you guys. There's, uh, there's another one on the LBZ there. We're actually going to go ahead and take this out of here for lack of space. And also because, well, it's an have plate on it. But we are going to go ahead and start into the next video. And we are going to get our girl Leah all taken care of. We're going to put this fresh unit in. Look at that. We've got another merchant brace. And we'll see you guys on the next one.